Minister of State of Petroleum Timipre Silva is expected on Wednesday to inspect the oil spill from an old shell drilling facility in Nembe local government area of Bielsa State. The troubled wellhead for more than three weeks has been spilling thousands of barrels of crude into the nearby Santa Barbara, Barbara River uh, from where our rice correspondent Oviatame George now joins us for an update. Oviatame George, if you can uh, hear me clearly, uh, tell us what the latest is. Oviteme, George, can you hear me and can you tell us, bring us up to date with development uh, taking place in the Nembe community in Bielsa State? Well, it doesn't look like we're able to get a uh, connection with him, but on the whole, the Nembe thing and the uh, oil incident uh, spill has been an absolute disaster. And um, having taken place for the last three weeks is really, really, really um, negligent, I would say, I, you know, for lack of a better word, negligent of ITO, uh, the company, for not being able to sort of uh, step up and do what they're supposed to do. Yes, we actually had a representative from ITO a few days back who tried to um, defend the company and did say they were trying to be as proactive as possible. Um, as the minister does come to inspect the oil site, uh, oil spill site, it is very, um, it's coming at a good time. It could have come earlier. It has been three weeks, but I hope he has good things to say. And I really hope that they start work on the cleanup um, immediately and give us good updates as people's livelihoods are at stake. Yes, not just their livelihoods. I think the the health of the community as well, because you know, uh, one one of the updates that we had from Ovete Me George back in uh, a couple of days ago was that um, he had to relocate to another uh, setting because of the effect of the uh, pollution. So, uh, not to talk about someone who is already living within that area. Right. So, um, at the end of the day, it's not really looking well. But I'm glad, like you said as well, uh, and as we can see that the minister is uh, approaching to sort of uh, inspect the oil spill site. Hopefully they'll be able to come to uh, more uh, assistance to regards to what they can do to sort of mitigate the effect of the oil spill. I think it's not just the minister that should be here. The governor should be here, the community, mm -hmm. all of the parastatals that need to be here, I think, to put heads together, rally around and make sure uh, that they put an end. Three weeks is definitely too long a time uh, to carry on with this uh, oil spill tragedy. It is definitely a long time, and we uh, we hear that this happens quite often in Bielsa State. Um, I think it's not just even Bielsa. I think the this, this South, South Niger Delta. Yeah. Right. Well, carry on. It's, it is quite unfortunate, and more responsibility needs to be taken by these oil companies in order to prevent such atrocities. I mean, of course, we understand an emergency and a mistake is it's there's human error but at the same time just like you said earlier people's uh, lives their livelihoods their health everything is at stake Absolutely. and this community continues to get um, destroyed um, and it's just a tragedy it's it's a bit of a national tragedy and like I said it's it's very important that the minister uh, says something that injects some kind of hope into the community and restore some kind of faith back into um, into the whole situation because it's it's really quite terrible. It is quite terrible. Uh, one of the things that uh, the uh, one of the officers that we spoke to from ITO um, actually gave us a reference regarding Mexico that Mexico had an oil spill one time and that it ran it ran in ran on for like two months before they were able to sort it out. But uh, let's we seem to have uh, established connection with Oviteme George. Oviteme George, uh, if you can hear me, bring us up to speed with development happening in Nembe. Okay, I can hear you quite clearly. Good afternoon. Um, right now, the Minister of State, Petroleum Resources, Chief Timipre Silva, has just arrived here at the jetty in Basambri, Nembe local government area of the state. Of course, he's on an inspection tour of OML 29, well one that is actually leaking and spewing crude oil into the Santa Barbara River. However, he wants to come and see things for himself, of course, to get an informed perspective of the whole thing. 
is also here with uh, the member representing Nembe Brass Federal Constituency Israel, Sonny Goli. I can even see others who are with him. He's been received by the military personnel. Well, this is not a time for celebration. It's a time when the community is in crisis. And he has come here, not just in the capacity of uh, the Minister of State for Petroleum Resources, but also in the capacity of a son of the land. He's from Brass, that is Okpoma, and also is from Basambri. So these are his people in Bayelsa East Senatorial District. It is actually a time that the people come together and he will speak to them much later in the language they understand, which is the language. <laughs> your Excellency, sir, yes. you're welcome to your own place. Uh, yes, uh, we know we are going there to inspect what is actually happening. Yes. But please tell us how you felt when you got the information. You may have been disturbed. Well, it's a very, it's a very sad development, uh, you know, but these things happen. They are operational hazards of the business. Uh, Mr. President is very concerned personally himself and he has asked us, uh, his uh, team, to come and inspect and uh, make sure that uh, the appropriate action is taken to uh, ameliorate the situation. Accidents are never intended, they happen exactly. fortuitously exactly. and you would have to talk to your people in the language they understand, give them a breath of fresh air and confidence that you feel their pain. Sir. Exactly, I mean it is not just me that feel their pain, uh, Mr. President feel their pain and that's why he has personally instructed that myself and uh, the C CEO of the upstream um, uh, regulatory authority uh, come here to actually assess the situation and, uh, take, and take appropriate actions uh, to ensure that the people are, are properly uh, are taken care of. Your Excellency, Chief Timber Silva, we are going there with you. Thank you, Thank you sir. You. Well, right now, the Minister of State Petroleum Resources is going to uh, welcome perhaps greet his people, the chiefs. It is a tradition when you visit to go and greet them, felicitate with them. Even at a time of crisis like this, they still you know, have to honor tradition. And so that's what he's going to do over there. Um, maybe we just have to follow them. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Right, over to me, George. Um, it is, it is still part of the issues here. Despite a period of distress, they still came out in their numbers to welcome him. It is the tradition that they have to honor before moving to the troubled spot, that is the Santa Barbara River. You'd have to bear with us a bit. The crowd is much, and the Minister of State Petroleum Resources is going around greeting them, honoring them, so to speak. Climb up. Now, Ove Teme, um, if you can still hear me, uh, what's likely to happen later on uh, today? Is the uh, minister expected to make an official statement uh, once he gets to the site or once the uh, assessment uh, has been done? Is he expected to make an official statement? Right, it doesn't look like Ovitemi can hear me clearly, but let's uh, uh, talk about the, uh, the minister's arrival, uh, Timmy Pre Silva. One of the things that he said uh, was he, he um, I think he's trying to restore some confidence to the level of people uh, that are, are resident in that area, which is a good thing and a good sign as well. It is, especially since he is from the area. And um, we are and going a lot to the jetty now where the minister would board a boat. So we'll have to take it off from here in the studio.